own lives and protested for the sake of your marriage and mom's marriage. We protested. Once those were down the drain, we were just like, cool, we're going to do our own thing. She no longer could feel the victim because she could no longer feel us attacking her because we just gave up. We didn't care about her anymore. All of you are just kind of jerks. I don't want to be around you. And I'm tired of it. And I don't want to call them and I don't want to talk to them. And that's why I'm done with Robin. I don't care to talk to Robin anymore. I'm not going to do this. I'm doing my own thing. And Robin's mad that she can't have this effect on our lives anymore because we just don't care anymore. And I'm not speaking on behalf of the siblings, but this is what I think all the siblings think. That this is us going, you know what, Robin? Have him. Because we don't care anymore. We're all grown adults that don't need. So a few days after the confrontation, we got a text message from McKelty saying that Robin and her kids weren't going to participate in this year's gift exchange. And it kind of hurt. Cool. And I got the car that I wanted that he told me I should never get. Based. And he doesn't know anything? No. He doesn't care to. I've reached out to Garrison and uh, Gabriel. I reached out to them just before Christmas. And I reached out to them um, after. Uh, no, they're blocking me. They're not, they're not interested in talking to me. For the last 20 years, we've had a gift exchange where we draw names and we pick a gift for another sibling for the name we drew. Cody and I are deeply, very much saddened to announce the loss of our beloved, beautiful boy, Robert Garrison Brown. That was the joint statement that was released by the partners, that is Cody Brown and Janelle Brown, immediately after the passing on of their beloved boy, son, that is Garrison Brown. They released this statement on their official Instagram pages uh the instagram page of cody brown that has close to 200 uh, 165,000 uh, followers and of course janelle also came out and released this statement via her official instagram page that has close to 1.2 million followers they were very much saddened and devastated and they continued in that touching statement and said he was our bright spot in our lives of all who for me where the challenge comes from is, you know, there's so many mental health challenges. So many people are going through, you know, he was a young lad at 25 years old. Garrison, you know, had a, had a very huge and big future ahead of him. But because of these so many mental health issues, we saw him actually and aliving, aliving him so. So, um... It's uh, it, it's really very com complicated ever since the father separated with the mother. We saw in one of the clips at the beginning of the video where Garrison himself said that he doesn't need his father. He doesn't need a father figure. And you know, I think this was all due to due to their mother, the way she actually separated with Cody and you know it complicated each and everything at a time because if you can analyze the 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 show you know from a couple of clips TLC released Janelle Cody after separation in 2022 we saw their son Grayson actually being the most vocal and of course his other brother Gabriel were by the way one of the two outspoken people on the show about the complicated relationship their father had with their mother of course when their father actually considered the other lady that um that and he said he could actually no longer have a relationship with the sons i think it affected them mentally and you know they couldn't cope with the absence of their own father ever since actually he separated with the wife miss janelle in 2022 so from the looks and of course from a couple of clips from uh, the tlc show it looks like really the son was unhappy he looked angry you know the signs were there the subtle signs were there if you can analyze cases of mental health